In this video, having set up the Ussing chamber and obtained the offset voltage, we will now demonstrate how to insert the toad skin and take some measurements. First of all, using the transfer pipette, remove the ringers solution from the chamber. This is to prevent the solution from flooding out when you remove the empty tissue holder. To remove the tissue holder, undo the knob on the side of the frame and raise the arms. You can now remove the slider. Next, take your beaker of ringers solution to the teaching station where you will receive a tissue holder with some toad skin already inserted into it. Do not touch the skin mounted within the tissue holder as this would likely stop the skin from functioning. Take your tissue holder and place it into the Ussing chamber, again making sure that the clear perspex layer of the tissue holder is facing left. Drop the locking arms and tighten the frame using the knob on the side. Then refill the chamber to the red fill line using normal ringers solution. Next, connect the clear air tubes on the back of the frame to the Ussing chamber as shown here. With the air pump turned on, adjust the airflow using the knobs on the top of the frame. The air bubbles help the solution to circulate throughout the chamber. Once you have done this, go to the appropriate page of your lab tutor notes and press start in the top right hand corner of the lab chart window. If you need to, you can press the auto scale button either in the individual channels as you did before or at the top of the window which will adjust both channels at once. You will now need to let your trace run for 10 to 15 minutes. This lets your tissue equilibrate to its new environment before you begin your experiments. For the sake of time, the video has been sped up here. Without pressing stop, Press the pause scrolling button in the lower right hand corner of the window. This will allow you to examine the trace while the data is still being collected in the background. When you have done this, zoom into a portion of the trace. There are several characteristics of the trace that you will notice now that there is toad skin inserted into the chamber. Firstly, the potential across the two chambers is much more negative. In this example, the potential is minus 30 millivolts whereas in the previous example it was minus 4.7 millivolts when no skin was present. We can also place a voltage across the chamber. This is shown in channel 2. Whenever we inject the voltage we can also see that the potential across the skin also changes as shown in channel 1. What we will do now is show you how to measure these two voltages which you will use repeatedly throughout the remainder of this practical. Use your cursor to obtain values for the baseline, which we will call V1. Next, obtain the value at the bottom of the peak, which we will call V2. If you subtract V2 from V1, you will obtain delta V. You will use delta V to calculate the transepithelial resistance. In contrast, VTE, which is the baseline potential, can be obtained by subtracting the voltage offset which we obtained previously from V1 which is obtained here. Remember that these potentials are in millivolts as shown in the y-axis of channel 1. Once you have finished your measurements you can unpause the scrolling by pressing on the pause scrolling button in the bottom right hand corner of the screen. Periodically remember to check the level of ringer solution in your chamber and top up to the red line as necessary. Next, we will measure what's called the Amelioride Sensitive Short Circuit Current. Use an automatic pipetta to draw up 5 microliters of Amelioride stock solution. Add this directly to the bath solution on the pond side of the epithelium, in other words, to the left side of your chamber. You should notice that the voltage offset corrected baseline, or VTE, approaches zero under the influence of Amelioride. Once your trace is stabilised, you should perform a washout.
Remove half of the solution from the pond side, in other words the left hand side of your chamber, and refill with fresh ringer's solution. Wait about 30 seconds and then repeat. Keep doing this until the VTE returns to normal. Once it returns to normal, you should allow the tissue to rest for 15 minutes before performing further experiments. To take measurements from your ameliorated trace, press the pause scrolling button in the lower right hand corner of the window. Next, zoom out so that you can see the entire trace. 50 to 1 will probably be sufficient. Then click on the auto scale button. Now highlight a portion of the top stable part of the ameliorated trace and click the zoom button. Again rescale to bring the trace into the window and measure V1 and V2. Copying the results into Excel if you wish for use in your calculations. The difference in currents calculated before and after ameliorated treatment is known as the ameliorated sensitive short circuit current which is a measure of the sodium transporting capacity of the epithelium. Continue to work through the activities in your notes, and if there is anything that you don't understand, be sure to ask one of your demonstrators before you leave the class today.